Hey, this is Duffy Jones from Peachtree Hills Animal Hospital, and today we're going to continue our series of Ask the Vet. Today I have a question from John from Brookhaven, um, who wants to talk about why his dog gets chronic ear infections. So John, <clears throat> there's a lot of reasons that we see ear infections in dogs. We see them from seasonal allergies, so if your dog tends to have them one time a year compared to all year round, then we think it may be more seasonal. Uh, related. And sometimes what we can do on those dogs is if we know the season, say it's the spring, we can start to clean the ears uh, more, you know, more regularly during the spring, try to prevent the infections from coming up. And that can usually make a big difference in these guys that way. Um, and those are pretty easy. So usually the seasonal allergy ones are much easier than the ones that we see them kind of all year round. We have another subset of dogs that get it after they go to the lake or they go swimming and things like that. That's another one we can use a good ear cleaner. Um, you know, just talk with your vet, whichever one they prescribe to really kind of keep the ears clean, keep the ears dry. Really dogs with like labs with hang down ears, other things like that. We see a lot of ear infections on these guys as well too. Um, but probably the most frustrating ear infection is the one that just goes on and on and on and goes over all year round. And a lot of those guys, what we start to look for is first, do we have a resistant infection? So do we, are we using antibiotics or medications that the bacteria or the yeast in the ear is actually resistant to? If that's the case, then we need to make sure we culture the ear, which means we, we take a swab of the ear, we grow out the bacteria, then we put antibiotics on it. We know exactly which antibiotic is gonna work for that ear. And sometimes we have to do that. Um, the other thing that we can do too, on these guys is a lot of times it may be actually food related, believe it or not. And so actually changing food can usually make a huge difference in ear infection. So a lot of times what we'll end up doing is going to a limited ingredient diet, going to hypoallergenic diet, something like that. It does take four to six weeks of feeding that diet and that diet only to know if that ears will help with the ears, but many, many times it will help. Um, and a lot of times it'll just reduce the number of infections. You'll still have to clean, you'll still have to kind of maintain the ears but overall the food can make a huge difference. So again, lots of reasons why we see chronic ear infections. So, you know, think first, is it seasonal? So what time of year is it? A certain time of year, should we start um, treating around those times? Is it because they swim, they got a bath, they got water in the ears, those are easy to deal with. We can use cleaners, things like that. And the ones that are really bad, that tend to be really ongoing, um, we think, do they have a resistant infection? So a lot of times we'll go ahead and culture the ears and see how it goes, or is maybe their food allergy uh, component to it too. And changing the food can make a huge difference. Um, I always tell owners that that's like the easiest thing I can do. You don't have to clean the ears. You don't have to do anything. We just change the food and a lot of times the ears get better. So John, I hope this helps uh, answer some of your questions and please keep sending your questions uh, to us. Thanks so much. Have a good day.